Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really special recipe for you all that you all are going to love and have to try this Easter. And this one is for an iced lemon pound cake. If you love Starbucks lemon pound cake, you guys are going to love this. And it can also be made with oranges if you didn't like lemon. So to make this, we're going to start in my bowl with some softened butter. I always like to start with softened butter. It helps the recipe to move along quickly. You just want to whip that and then we'll go in with some sugar. Whip the sugar until it's nice and light. Once it's light in consistency, we're going to go in with three eggs, but we're going to add them one at a time until they're completely incorporated into that batter. Next, I'm going to go in with some mayo. Now, don't question me on the mayo, but just trust me on it. It's going to give you a really moist cake along with some lemon juice and some lemon extract. If you don't have the extract, don't worry. Just use extra lemon juice in place. Now, I'm going to go in with some vanilla essence or extract and some of that lemon zest. Cinnamon, baking soda, salt, and baking powder goes in, and we're going to mix this to combine. Once combined, I'm going to go in with half of my flour, and I'm going to mix that in. Once it starts to come together, we're going to add in the other half of the flour, and we'll continue to mix that in also. Don't over whip it. Once it comes together, stop. If you over whip it, you're going to get a really tough cake. Now this we empty into our loaf pan or you can use whatever cake pan you want. Once you empty it in here, you're going to spread it out evenly. And this goes into my oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 45 minutes. Or until when you put a skewer through it, it comes out clean. So my cake is finished. I'm going to test it now and make sure that it's cooked. So while we wait for the cake to cool out, let's make the icing that's going to go on the top. So here I have sifted icing sugar and I'm going in with some lemon juice and some lemon extract. I'm going in with a little bit of milk at a time. I don't want to add all of the milk just at once because if it gets too soft, you'll have to add more icing sugar. So always add a little at a time and keep mixing until it gets to the consistency you would like. Now I don't want it to be too thick and I don't want it to be too thin. So I'm adding in the milk and what I did was I actually used out all of the milk and it was perfect for me. But please follow as I sh showed you guys at a little at a time. This is the consistency I am going for. So now I'm going to pour this all over the cake. And you have to make sure that your cake has cooled down completely before you place this on it. You want to spread this out evenly. And after you're finished spreading it out, we're going to go ahead and leave it for at least half an hour to 45 minutes for that icing to set up. If you were to cut it, you're going to make a hot mess. You want it to get that really nice hard um, exterior before you can cut into this. So now that it's nice and hard, I'm cutting into it. And this smells so amazing. One tip I wanted to tell you guys, if you wanted to grate some lemon zest or orange zest on it before it firms up, feel free to do that. And all you have to do is cut this and serve it. It is really moist and soft and it smells and tastes really amazing, guys. I'm going to break into one so you guys can see. It's nice and crumbly. I just love this cake. It's amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Make it. Let me know if you like it. I hope you guys are staying at home during this quarantine. Thank you all so much for watching my videos and for sending me all the pictures. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.